What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? There. Now take a closer look. Have you worked out what we're looking for? Correct. The answer is the atom, or rather more specifically, the nucleus of an atom. The nucleus of an atom. You may know it as that thing in the middle of the atom, but whatever you call it, the nucleus of the atom, made up of protons and neutrons, is one of the most important discoveries known to mankind. As we have seen, the nucleus occurs naturally inside the atom, thus man's very existence is inextricably linked to atoms. Without atoms, we would all be dead. One quick form of death is suicide, which can be achieved by walking off a tall building or standing in front of a moving vehicle. Upon impact with the ground or car bonnet, you will be reduced to a massive lump of flesh and bone, identical to the ancient Greek idea of atoms. In 1804, a scientist called John Dalton thought that matter was made up of tiny spheres, like balls, not like human flesh lumps. Nearly 100 years later, J.J. Thomson suggested that atoms were spheres of positive charge with tiny negative electrons in them, like a plum pudding. Experiment 1. The Plum Pudding To make a plum pudding, you will need Self-raising flour Mixed spices Assorted nuts A carrot Hot water Cheese A pickle And the first series of Brooklyn Nine-Nine on DVD Heat using a Bunsen burner and carefully remove your creation from the beaker. Well done, you have created a plum pudding. Now back to the history lesson, where we meet our Lord and Saviour, Ernest Rutherford. Radioactivity was discovered in 1896 and Rutherford set out to use alpha particles to investigate the atom. He knew that alpha radiation consisted of fast moving positively charged particles with a lot of momentum. At the time, alpha particles were easy to obtain and reliable to use. With the help of his two students, Geiger and Marsden, he conducted the gold foil experiment. Experiment 2 The Gold Foil Experiment To conduct Rutherford's gold foil experiment, you will need an alpha source. vacuum, a GM tube, which is a microphone with a fluorescent zinc sulfide screen, and of course, gold foil. If you do not have any gold foil, earn some money and buy some from Amazon, or be open to ridicule. Don't use aluminium foil. Gold foil is recommended because it can be easily drawn into a thin sheet, close to one atom thick. 
Start by setting up the apparatus as shown. Don't forget to use the vacuum to remove all the air from the chamber. Alpha particles can be absorbed by air, so if you want them to hit the gold foil, you have to remove the air. Plug in the alpha source and turn it on. When the alpha source starts emitting particles, move the microscope around the chamber, like an ultrasound detector on a pregnant woman's belly. Note down the readings on the microscope at different points around the chamber. Once complete, turn off the alpha source and eliminate the incriminating evidence. Now, what do you see? Correct! Most of the alpha particles pass straight through the foil, proving that most of the atom must be empty space. What else do you see? Correct! Some particles were deflected by a large angle, proving that the nucleus must have a positive charge. Can you tell me something else that you see? Correct! A few particles were backscattered, proving that most of the atom's mass must be contained in a small, dense nucleus. Well done! You have just recreated the Rutherford gold foil experiment and conclusively proved that JJ Thompson was wrong about everything, as always. If you fired alpha particles at a Thompson atom, then you would expect to see them be scattered by the atom, but unfortunately for Thompson, they weren't thus disproving J.J. Thompson's whole existence. However, Rutherford's model was mostly ignored by other physicists. Not only was it mechanically and electromagnetically unstable, but Ernest Rutherford is a weird name to try and spell. Over the course of this module, we have looked at the history, manufacture and uses of the nucleus of an atom. So remember, whether you're at home, school, or just out and about, never show your belly button to a stranger. Next time, we'll be taking a very close look at Blue Tack.